After 21 years, some closure on the cold case of a woman's murder at a home in downtown Henderson. 8 News Now reporter James Schaefer has what police know now, who is in custody, and just how police finally got a break in the case. He joins us live with the details. James. Brian Denise, 21 years ago, an alleged murderer was arrested here in downtown Henderson. Now we understand that individual is allegedly connected to a second murder here in this same neighborhood happening the same year in 2003. A newspaper article from September 6, 2003, reporting on Henderson police investigating a woman's death at the 200 block of Gold Street, detailing her body was found inside a home around 2 p.m., citing no further details. But now, 21 years later, Henderson police providing an update on this cold case as we learn more about the woman killed, 28-year-old Teresa Romano, and the suspect now in custody thanks to a new initiative and DNA evidence. Henderson police told 8 News Now the department's cold case unit got a boost this March, adding a retired homicide detective and new forensics technology thanks to added-on funding approved several years ago. The new technology identifying DNA that broke this case open. Police identified a suspect who was connected to another murder in downtown Henderson from the same year, less than a mile from where Romano was killed. Henderson detectives traveling from southern Nevada all the way up to Reno on July 16th to arrest the alleged murderer identified as 47-year-old Ricky Lee Trader. County records show Trader had been on parole from a second-degree murder offense charge from 2003 at an address less than a mile from this one on Gold Street. Both murders happening in downtown Henderson the same year. Now, Henderson police also told me that this is just one of 27 total cold cases that they're currently investigating with their newly improved unit. Reporting live from downtown Henderson, James Schaefer, 8 News Now. James, thank you. Traders expected to appear in Henderson court tomorrow. That will be at 9 a.m.